Yo, what's up, folks? We got some things to harvest. Got some eggplant here. It's a nice size. Check it out. Look at that. Nice size eggplants. So I think we got like three of these. Or probably four. But we also have a yellow squash in the back as well. I got to get some new uh, pruners or snip. Check that out, y'all. Wow. Got another one right here. Yeah. These bad boys. Dull. Yeah. Check it out. Some nice size eggplant. This one back here. So that's uh three. Yeah. Oh yeah. We get this nice head of cabbage. Whew. Oh yeah. It's almost and I got a bunch of peppers over here. You know what? These things got knocked over during the storm last night. So I'm about to pluck these off. I don't want it to damage. I see it still see blooms on here. So I want more fruit off of them. So I'm just snip these things off. Just take these. Yeah, look at this. Some type of bug got a hold to that. Sit that off to the side. But we got more over here. One, two, three, got four, and got a uh, five. Man, got a six, got seven. They are a right size. Yeah. Had to cut them loose. Trying to watch out for this uh, <laughs> this watermelon uh, plant right here that survived from last year. Yeah, some nice size bell peppers. Man, I got a bunch of cherry tomatoes that need to be harvested. And look at these tomatoes over here. They got some huge tomatoes of various variety. Man, I got some brandy wine. I got some, what else? Some beef steak. I got some heirloom or uh, gourmet varieties. I got quite a bit. Check this out. This is one of my favorite flowers, for real, for real. There's just something about this. Hold up, I'm gonna show y'all. There we go, hold up. See? There we go. This flower here. This is an ochre flower. And I wish you guys could see this in, in person. This thing is beautiful, I like that. One of my favorite flowers. And we got a red one from Burgundy. Over here, let's see if it look. It looks slightly different, slightly different. But it's still beautiful as well. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, so we got a lot of okra about to start taking off in a minute. See that? It's a nice size one. Now you don't want to let these things get too big because they're going to become fibrous. I'm going to probably let this sit for another day or so. And then I'm going to come out and pick them. And pick it off. Check out our corn back here. Man, we got loads of corn. My first year of growing corn and nothing, nothing is attacking it yet. I'm happy. I'm hoping that whatever that destroyed my crop last year stays where it's at. But yeah, got some sweet corn. I got some peaches and cream corn over here as well. Oh yeah, I'm so happy about that. Then y'all can see I got a lot of yellow pear tomatoes that need to be harvested all throughout here. Oh yeah. So I'm excited about that. Check this out. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait. Look at that. We got a habanero pepper. It's red and ready to go. And then they got a few more that's going around there. That's looking good. And as well as these uh, sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is uh, seeing a lot of new leaf growth. So that's letting me know that the roots doing their job and uh, potatoes are being birthed. And they got the onion patch over here. Some of the onions fell over. I'm gonna try to pick them up some type of way so I don't step on them when I'm walking through here. Harvested my um, broccoli over here. I got some more um, cabbage. And man, we got more peppers over here. Habaneros, y'all can see them. All through in here. Yeah. We got a lot of them. Some right here too. Yeah. Then we got some Carolina Reapers over here. But the crazy part about it, I can't identify which is which. Cause we got some Carolina Reapers. We have some, some what's that? Jamaican uh, Scotch bonnets, hot peppers. I forget the varieties of all of them, but we got some peppers. Check this one out. Some nice pepper right here. Some nice peppers. And check this one out. This one is funky. I'm gonna look it up. Y'all don't talk about me if I'm getting it wrong, but I believe that this is the Carolina Reaper. I think. Oh, let me see. Right here. I'm trying to find it. There we go. This shape here. I think this is it. But I'm going to do my research to see what it is. You know, a lot of the stuff got destroyed. We got some more peppers over here with a weird shape. We got some varieties. I don't know what type this is, but I know that they're hot. The majority of the peppers around here are very, very hot. Very hot. And then we have some mild ones, like those scotch bonnets over there. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. We got some uh, bell peppers. And we have some eggplant that we have harvest so far now we gotta come back here and get the squash I gotta do a lot of work in my backyard I'm very busy lately but it's all gonna come together the grapes are ripening up ripening very well look at that They're changing colors oh yeah and we got loads of grapes. Yeah, we got grapes, grapes, grapes. Here's squash that I need to harvest. Right here, nice size one. Get this on out of here so this smaller one can do its thing. 
Now see the thing is, but the thing about squash, it's like you can get a lot of harvest out of them. You can get a lot of squash out of them. But you gotta harvest at the right time. Like, when this one squash is getting super big and, oh, let me show you, let me show you, okay. Let me start over. All right, so you wanna pick the squash when they're around this size. You know, and then you see other buds coming on here. Let me see. Other squash that's starting to, see that right there? Let's see. That right there, you see that? Now, if you leave these things on there too long, it's gonna dry out and it's gonna die. It's gonna wither away. See, I had two of them on here. This one took a lot of energy. This one is taking a lot of energy. So this one, Right here, where is he at? This one right there, dry it out and die. So this ain't no good. And that's gonna continue to happen if you don't harvest um, in a timely manner. You know, you're gonna miss out on fruit. So now that I got that one trimmed off, now this one can grow. As this one growing, this one gonna start growing over here. Cause it got a little energy and by the time that this one is about this size i can pick, pluck that one and allow that one and another uh fruit to grow on that one so that's how that works and i learned that the hard way i was getting greedy on the plant that i had right here i had got a squash off of this one and i seen some other ones like wow look at that this thing about to start taking off but one got big and next thing you know it died off and now it's out here. The crazy part about it, it's still alive. It still have some form of life. And mind you, I took this thing out of the ground like three weeks ago. Like, like no cap. Like three weeks ago. This thing's still alive. Look at that. No lie. And I just left it here. But that's what you get. That thing almost like pretty much died off because it snapped and then um rotted so i like you know what i'm gonna just rip it on out get it out of here and there it is so yeah got squash can't wait for these grapes got some blackberries that's right we got loads on the other bush um i've been slacking on that one they nice and black and good but yeah it's a little slight harvest right here. Got some bell peppers. Got some eggplants. Check out my mango. My mango tree doing a good job. It's about, uh, I want to say, uh, close to two feet. Close to two feet tall. But yeah. It's doing its thing. All right, y'all. Peace. I ain't gonna keep y'all for too long. Take care. Love y'all. Bye.